Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah I want to speak about um, something that I've called the revert effect And why I think it's quite dangerous Both in terms of the culture itself and for the person involved um, Often when a person becomes Muslim and they enter into Islam uh, we see huge crowds of people We see it as a big event The uh, shahada is taken in front of the people And then that person Sometimes becomes like a celebrity In the masjid We see videos being made um, And then you know that person is Like I said uh, Put on a platform Not all the time But sometimes this is what happens And I want to speak about why I think the revert effect is dangerous when we clamber around a person and we give them huge amount of attention and we give them celebrity status um, it's very difficult for the person themselves because you imagine you have just been a normal person in your life and then you enter into Islam and suddenly you're getting people saying, brother, mashallah, and they, you know, they're, they're really sort of going overboard and you're put on this pedestal. That can be difficult for a new Muslim, for any person actually. That can be difficult for a uh, new Muslim to deal with, both in terms of their intention and dealing with the attention and also um, putting them on this pedestal where they genuinely feel that they need to deliver now um, When a person enters into Islam They do it for Allah And it's a moment of immense happiness in their lives And it's also a moment of immense happiness for us as well We have a new brother or a new sister in Islam It's another person who has come out of the darkness And into the light of Islam The worship of Allah following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu so no doubt it's a moment of immense happiness for everybody involved okay but when you have the spotlight on you then sometimes that intention can become corrupted sometimes that intention the intent the uh, intention of the person involved it can become polluted and sometimes these people who um, they have you know accepted Islam sometimes they leave Islam as well and so that person who you'd put on the pedestal and everybody was looking up uh, you know to them when they leave Islam suddenly you've got yourself a bit of a PR disaster now okay so that's something that we need to think about another thing we find people setting up um, you know uh, uh, Instagram pages and YouTube channels and things like this and they are new into the religion perhaps they don't even know how to pray properly they don't know how to make wudu properly but suddenly they're giving da'wah suddenly they are calling uh, and making videos and vlogs and things like this da'wah is something that should be done upon knowledge okay and the person who has no knowledge he cannot start making videos and start becoming a preacher and calling other people to Islam is going to eventually cause or she's going to cause more damage than they are going to bring benefit next thing there is a need for long-term support of reverts and we have to balance this long-term support versus this short-term attention what they need is long-term support and they also need uh, attention at the beginning just to keep them firm but not this kind of celebrity uh, not this kind of celebrity uh, atten intention, attention rather and finally brothers and sisters we need to nurture our new Muslim brothers and sisters on the correct methodology and setting off on the right foot and we need to let them know that we're not a people who jump behind personalities and new Muslims and throwing people onto pedestals rather it's about knowledge uh, beneficial knowledge and righteous action and supporting one another and so that's why I'm a, I'm uh, cautioning against this uh, this uh, you know this revert effect and giving them huge amounts of attention and, and, and encouraging them and pushing them forward no it's about 
Um, it's about taking it slow and steady and being stable upon the religion, learning the correct aqidah, learning the correct creed, implementing that, knowing that, and you know, riya and showing off is something very, very dangerous. And so, um, please, if a if a Muslim brother or sister becomes uh, and accepts Islam in your masjid, don't you know, don't do it in front of the eyes of the people and make it this big event. Try and help them out behind the scenes keep them close and if you're a new muslim then this is a pressure which you may face don't be afraid to say hey can i do this in private please i'm doing this for allah i'm not doing it for you know uh, publicity or for the people um, and uh, know that we are with you we're trying to support you but we have to set off on the right foot may allah rectify our affairs and forgive us for our sins assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh